Uh, food's just one of those ubiquitous, universal things that brings people together. It's easier to find a hamburger in this area than it is a healthy, organic apple. And so that's a reality that we're trying to fix. As you can tell, this is a pretty dilapidated community that suffered largely from the 2008 collapse. We're trying to revitalize the community by taking control of a barren food system. Instead of going to some bucolic field out in the middle of nowhere, synthesizing the, those two things, the urban setting and the agricultural setting, thus the urban renewal farm. Refurbishing really dilapidated infrastructure like this massive factory that has been abandoned for a number of years and we're trying to transform it into a space where community members can learn how to grow sustainably produced food. And then all of this I believe over here is our arugula. Yeah lots of leafy vegetables we're working on, salad greens, things like that. We're trying to grow some stuff. We've got a lot of different types of plants going. We're just kind of seeing what works and what we can do best. Once you see this place, then you automatically fall in love and, and it's hard not to get swept up in the optimism. It's so easy to imagine rows upon rows of massive spinach garden, a massive carrot garden, a massive anything garden because of the enormity of the space. We have 400 peppers in the process of growing right now for a woman's sriracha business. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, okay. she needed a place to grow a bunch of peppers and this is it. I was exposed to a vermiculture operation. A lot of brilliant people. They really inspired me in a lot of ways to take advantage of the resources I have around me. When I first came to this place, the resources were everywhere. Thanks to Wright State, I had the tool set to think creatively and utilizing those resources. And although it is a parking lot, with enough imagination and creativity, I think you know it goes to show you can do some pretty cool stuff like we're doing here.